Uh, good, you know, it's going to be a long flight, but it'll be, uh, you know, a nice bonding experience for us. It's just the guys going over, so um, we'll get uh, to hang out a lot, and um, it should be fun. What did you guys learn from going to China, right? That's the closest thing to this, like, in terms of just managing your body, managing the trip, and then, like, what was what did you take out of that trip that was good? Um... I mean, it, it, the bonding thing is probably the best part about it. We get to spend a lot of time together, so uh, it's really good for the team to do that. We got some new guys and stuff like that, too, so it'll be huge for that. But uh, it, it's a bit of a challenge uh, getting used to different time changes, coming back, but uh, we're fully prepared for that. We have, like, sleep doctor and all these types of things to, to make us feel our best, so I don't think there'll be any issue. Trevor, your, your back with Drew, obviously, you guys were nice back in the day. What's changed about him? What stays the same? What we've been uh, he's still the same guy, um, but yeah, you know, got a couple kids or a few kids now, so um, you know, growing up a little bit, but uh, still the same guy in the room, and uh, I still feel like you know I, I took care of him back in the day, so I kind of got to do it again. You look back fondly on game as roommates. Oh yeah, yeah, we had a lot of fun together, and um, you know, at the time we were both single too, so it was it was it was a lot of fun. You're both entering your 16th season. Does it feel like 16 seasons? Uh, yeah, it does. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, still the same hunger coming into camp and still super excited to, to play another season and keep her going. But, uh, you know, we, we've had these same meetings and, you know, same start of media lots of times. So we kind of, we got the veteran things going on and we're comfortable in these situations and we're just looking forward to you know getting a good camp going and getting ready for the season. Drew, during the exit interview, Todd mentioned that uh, you might have to reduce the ice time burden on Drew with Kobe heading this season. Has he had that conversation with you and what are your thoughts as you go from 26 minutes to 19, 20, 24? Uh, it's, it's whatever they want to do. Uh, I haven't had a conversation with him, but I mean, me and Kobe, uh, we played a lot of seasons, so I mean, I guess it makes sense. Um, but yeah, whatever minutes I'm going to play, I'm going to do my best out there, and uh, it, it, 23, 26 doesn't make that much of a difference. So, ready to, to do whatever they throw at me. In retaining a guy like Gavrikov, you were vocal about wanting to keep, make that a little bit easier because you know you have that established top four and now it's time for the top two. Yeah, uh, we needed that. Um, Gavi's a great player, very excited. We were able to get a deal done with him. Uh, great guy in the room, too. Um, but yeah, we uh, we got you know we got a lot of good D in this organization. Like we got some. Guys are going to be fighting for some spots, and uh, so it's very exciting. We, we, we're going to have six solid D out there every single night. So, um, yeah, it's, it's going to be, a, I hope, hopefully a very good year because we, we got a lot of really good players. I mean, it, it might be a combination of both, but your thought process and reasons of joining a team that you know some people, you've been there before, you went through Stanley Cups at the same time, maybe now the team is back in the conversation as a contender. Yeah, I mean, it was um, a pretty easy decision for me once I uh, got the call. Um, I kind of told my wife about it, and she started crying. She was so happy. So, um, you know, I always wanted to come back. I felt like I kind of never left, and, you know, I, I grew up here. So it was, it was a pretty easy decision for me. But, yeah, I mean, it's it's nice to, to come back. You know, I'm playing against them the last couple of years. You know that uh, they're building something good here. and. Um, it's definitely, they were a hard team to play against, and I, I, I'm glad to be a part of it. Jim, what was your reaction on the Dubois trade? A couple of guys that you know really well left town, but you've been a yeah. uh, legit player. Uh, you know, it's, it's the business side of things. Uh, guys get traded, like when Louis left years ago, you know, it's the worst part about being on a hockey team is when you see your good friends go, you know, really tight with AI. And uh, he was a great player for us for many years. He was a guy that you could play in any single role, you know, power play, PK, third line, first line, whatever you want. But uh, bringing in PL, um, I think that uh, we're going to have one of the best center lineups in the league, without a doubt. And, uh, you know, center's arguably the most important position on the ice. Uh, they're, they're playing offense. they got to get all the way back and play defense, too. So um, I think the trade... Uh, you know, as much as you don't want to see guys go, uh, I think it's going to make us more of a uh, intimidating team to play against, and uh, hopefully make us a better team. And PL is a great player. I, I've had some battles with him over the years, and he's, he's hard to play against when he's fired up. So, 
he's a, he's a big dude too with a lot of skills. So I think he's going to be a great fit for us. How many of you got to know him this summer, and uh, you know, is, do you communicate anything to him about kind of the pressure of expectation? Which you know, I mean, being a high pick, the big contracts. Uh, in his case, you got to give up a lot to get him, sign him to the big deal. How do, how do you want a guy just relax and kind of integrate after after someone like that? Um, well, yeah, I got to know him pretty well this summer. Uh, we were, I was here all summer actually working out and stuff. So when he would come in, uh, you know, I was driving him to the rink and getting to know him that way. Went out for drinks with him and stuff like that. Uh, great guy, good person. And uh, what was the other part of that question again? Oh, just the, you know, he's coming in with a fair amount of pressure. Oh, right, that was it. Together, yeah, well. Contract. How, do you, how do you kind of take that on? Well, because you, you've dealt with that yourself. Yeah, no, he, he I mean, it's, it's. Coming to LA is probably the easiest pressure situation to deal with almost, not the easiest, but one of the easier ones. It's not like, you know, signing in Canada or something like that. So I'm sure he's feeling a little bit of pressure, but we're all just going to help him along, you know, make sure we're all, we're all in this together. It's not just about him, you know, producing or whatever it is, but uh, I think he'll be fine. Uh, you know, a lot of these top players were made for these pressure situations, and I think he's going to thrive under it. Staying on that line of pressure, What's it feel like to know, I don't know how much you read, but we read and you find, you know, external media outlets, you know, the Kings are getting up there now, but, you know, that's part yeah. of the process a couple of years ago, next step, now the next step is pretty close, right? Yeah, we got to take that next step. It's not, uh, it can't be, uh, you know, we're almost there type thing. We got to take it this year. Uh, there's no doubt about it. Um, we have a very good squad. Blakey's done a great job bringing in the old veteran guys like Lou and, uh, bringing in some really good players, so um, there's no excuse for us. It's it's within the room, within uh, the team, just all the players. We got to step up and, and make it happen. We can't just. It doesn't matter what everyone's saying. It just matters what we think, and uh, we think we have a very good squad, and we think we got a good chance of doing some damage, and that's all we're focused on doing. Hey, Drew, I'll hope I'm not putting you on the spot. Do you, do you remember Scott Timmons? He played summer hockey with him back in the day. Have you heard from him recently? Do you know what he's doing? No clue, but uh, I do remember him. So I, I talked to him. He, he uh, led the Australian Ice Hockey League in scoring this year. He had oh, nice. Games. Nice. Uh, they won the championship down there August 27th. He works at the rink where you guys are going to practice. Oh, cool. So I don't know. I didn't know if you knew him. Or yeah, no, I've played with him a long time, him. but uh, yeah. that would be cool to see him. He, he, was, yeah. he was a good dude, but I haven't hung out with him in a long ass time. But yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, I just asked him if he had any connections at all. He said he just played summer hockey. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. True okay. story. Cool. Just <laughs> Do you guys know anything about what you're getting into down there? You know, is there anything you're eager to see? Like, uh, I don't know much about it, no. I mean, we have, kind of have a schedule laid out, and yeah. um, you know, have a couple of days to, to hang out and, and see some stuff, and mm -hmm. um, I'm sure they'll have a couple plans for us, so I, I, I don't know. Okay. I'm excited to go down and see it. Trevor, I'm curious for your thoughts on how they built things back up here from afar. What did you see in, in the evolution from, you know, going down a bit further down the standings and moving back up and the pieces they added? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, when I left, it was kind of more about getting young guys in and prospects. And, um, you know, I understood at the time, I understood they were, you know, they had to get, get rid of some guys to get some younger guys into play and stuff. And I think Blakey's done a great job of, um, you know, finding out the prospects that can play and, and – you know, obviously they turn into really good players, and obviously bringing in a lot of guys this, this summer. It's, um, you know, just just from playing against them in the past two years, it's you know you, you can see how much they've improved, and um, it's uh, it's a, it's a really hard team to play against. So um, I'm I'm just excited to be a part of it, and you know, keep keep climbing. Weird that quick's not here. What's that? Weird that quick isn't here. Like I know it was tough to see him see him go for some of the guys. Yeah, definitely. I mean, there's uh, not a whole lot of familiar faces left that from mine. I have too. So, but yeah, Quickie was, you know, when you think about all the, the Kings, you think about Quickie. So, uh, it's definitely weird to see him go and be weird to see him in a Rangers sweater this year. Kind of piggyback off that for Dewey. Uh, have you talked to Jonathan this summer? I know it's got to be an emotional thing for him to go. He grew up a Rangers fan and uh, wanted to ask him what you thought of his new ink. Uh, I think a lot of us were a little surprised by that. What, his, oh, I didn't even know about that part, but uh, yeah, I, I hung out with Quickie. He was back here for a little bit of summer after they won the cup and hung out with him as much as I possibly could. Um, but yeah, very happy for him. I mean, 
I didn't want Vegas to win the cup, but because Quickie was there, I was like, yeah, I want, you know, I want them to win if anyone's going to win now. So, um, but yeah, I know that he was a big Rangers fan growing up and pretty cool. You get to go there and actually and play for that team. So, uh, I think he's excited. He got to move back home to where he's from. And, uh, so I think it's a great situation for him. Hey, Jeff, I mentioned 16 seasons. And for a guy who's not a 40 goal scorer, 140 player, like, what do you think is your secret to staying in the league for this long? Playing against the kids sometimes, maybe a day after Yeah, I think, um, you know, kind of when I came in, I, I, you know, kind of just established a role for myself. And um, my role hasn't changed too much over the, the course of my career. And, um, you know, I've just tried to stay as physically fit as I possibly can and, you know, lead by example. And I think, um, you know, obviously being in my role, just trying to be as best as I can be at, at that role. And I think that's kind of got me to here.